Hey YouTube, how you doing? Kevin here coming at you. Um, I made a boo-boo. I deleted a video. Yep, I deleted a video on the uh, headers um, that I did on my Chevy truck. So I want to do a follow-up, kind of like a um, kind of like a do-over, like a get out of jail free card. You know what I'm saying? Because it's good information to have when you're doing this. And um, this is actually for all engines. Ford, Chevy, Dodge, whatever you're working on, if you're running headers. As you can see, I, I did, uh, I got it up and running. I did the video on that, did all that. Um, so basically, um, the video was in uh, header spark plug clearance. So I wanted to go back over that. So what you're looking at here is I have an Excel um, plug wire kit. And I got this with the right angle boots. They're shallower boots. Um, so they have plenty of clearance on the headers. See right there the clearance. Got quite a bit of room. Um, and I'm also using Excel um, spark plugs for headers. They make special spark plugs for headers. They're shorter. So um, your conventional plug and then you get your uh, header plug. So your header plug is one size and your conventional is another. In fact, I think I still have some of the old scrap plugs. I'll see if I can uh, dig them out real quick and show you the difference on them. And this is very important because what will happen is you'll end up burning up. Oh, actually my scrap guy already came and picked them up. So I can't do that either. Okay, fair enough. So I have a scrap guy who automatically comes and picks up this scrap. So I can't do that. Let's see if I have anything in the back. Sometimes I, I, toss, them, I toss them in the back. Sometimes I do. See if I have anything in the back here. No, it doesn't look like it. Well, your regular plug is one size, and then your um, your header plug is a little shorter. And they have the same heat range and all that. It's just it's just done differently, which is very very important. Yeah, I don't have any, but you'll have to take my word for it. So anyway, um, the way it works is. Using a shorter a shorter spark plug, and you'll be able to get the um, the clearance you need. You know, because other than that, that boot right there would be right up against the. Uh, in fact, I gotta put that back in the holder. Um, there we go. There you can see it. See the, the, the clearance. Um, the other thing you want to do is use a spark plug holder that screws onto your valve cover. Not the one, this came with two types. This came with the, uh, let's see if I can show you the other style. This is the style right here, it's most common. Right there. And that's just a free float. That style right there is on a bracket and it holds the wires up out of the way. Um, that is very, very good. These are made by Mr. Gasket. And by the way guys, like I always say, I'm not, I'm not associated with Excel. I'm not associated with Mr. Gasket. I'm not, I'm not associated with Edel Brock or anything like that. These are products that I've used throughout my career. And um, they stand the test of time and they're really, really good. So, um, a couple of things I'm going to always tell you guys is do things properly. Do use the right tools and the right equipment for the right job. Don't Mickey Mouse it because you'll be doing it again later. So, for instance, I don't know if you can see those, those header bolts. Those are Mr. Gasket header bolts. And then, of course, I got the um, the exhaust manifold gasket. That gasket is specifically for headers. Okay? They make a manifold gasket that's for a cast iron one, and then they make specific header gaskets. The header gaskets can withstand a little bit more than the regular manifold ones. So keep that in mind. Um, a couple of things I've done to this truck... This truck runs very cold. It runs at 160 degrees, which I gotta I gotta bring it up a little bit. But um, I had to use a small radiator. This is out of an El Camino, out of my neighbor's car. The upper and lower radiator hoses are also out of an El Camino, and so isn't the coolant shroud. I had to modify that to fit the truck because the radiator I had in here was a single a single row. This is dual, and it was about two inches longer. So the factory shroud would fit it, and I didn't want to spend the money on a radiator. I really don't like putting money into a Chevy. However, 
I did. So, probably a little more than I should have, but whatever. Let's, we're not going to go down that road. So I got the Edelbrock 600 carburetor on there. It's the uh, 1406. And I, I'm going to show you guys how I do things, okay? On the linkage over there, you can see that bottom, the bottom bracket. That's, um, uh, let me see if I can get up on top of my truck here for a second. Expand you guys up. That bottom bracket right there. That right there is for the overdrive um, 700R4 transmission. That's the that's the Edelbrock number piece. And then right here is the actual linkage kit. I didn't Mickey Mouse anything. Everything is done absolutely proper. Um, I don't like playing around with, you know, funky stuff. I like things to go on and work. And that's it. Mr. Gasket also made the dipstick tube right there for the oil. And you, I don't know if you saw it when it popped out. It, uh, it's clean. Good, good, good. Things running excellent. It fits in there. Nice and tight. So it's a really good quality um, dipstick for the 350. So they also made the, um, what do you call it there? The thermostat housing and a reusable gasket so it's got a whole it's got the whole kit and of course i put the ford terminals on i'm a ford guy i prefer a ford over a gm any day of the week but um unfortunately this is a a chevy you know who wears uh, bow ties yeah exactly real men wear ties not bow ties have you ever how many weddings have you gone to and all the men are dressed with ties you know what i'm saying i'm, I'm not poking fun of those who wear ties it's your own, you know, way. But uh, bow ties are not the way to go. Anyway, be a man, get a tie. And if you, if you know, if you need to know how to tie a tie, I have a video on that too. So, but anyway, getting back on this. So that's where I'm at with it. I gotta, um, I gotta shim up the flywheel, the um, starter, because it's grinding a little bit. Um, I haven't started it all in. Uh, a day and a half, two days. So, I'm going to see if I can do a cold start without the choke. I got my pull choke right here. Mounted up right here. And you can see it's it's not on, so. I'm going to start with the choke. I'm just kidding about the bow tie thing. I actually have a bow tie. So, I just don't wear it. Nothing in particular, I just don't wear it. And then, of course, they wired it. I gotta fix the, um, what do you call it there? So instead of fixing this thing properly, because my ignition switch doesn't rotate all the way over, um, they put this on it. So I'm gonna fix it the right way, but. Slide right up. Oil pressure. So yeah, the volt gauge, the one in the middle is not hooked up yet. And I put a ta uh, tack on there. Still attack. And she just sits there humming. No choke. Not bad. See my fuel pump up? Got some crap in the tank. But as you can see, we'll go back here. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Just chugs. Just chugs. It's a good truck. I'm going to take it to work tomorrow. i got to fix the fuel gauge. I don't know what's wrong with the fuel gauge. But something's wrong with it. I don't know what. But we'll find out. I'm not worry about it. Good truck. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that and, and get back on that video because I deleted it by accident. So anyway, my 1985 Chevrolet, this is actually a C10. I'm not familiar with Chevys. I was told it was a K10, which actually is the same thing. It's just the K10, I think it's the Suburban or something. I don't know. Just put on what it is. Fords, they tell you right up. It's either an F-150. This would be the, this right here would be an F-150 if it was a Ford. Or a 250 if it had the 8 lug. 
and a 350 that had the 8 lug and the heavy duty suspension. But this is not. This is the, um, some are calling it a, a, a custom deluxe. I don't know. I'm not a Chevy guy. Yeah, they're calling it a custom deluxe 10. See, they don't, they, they don't even tell you. They're like, put either a C or a K there, you know? Hey, guess what I am? Just tell me what you are. Give it a stupid custom deluxe. Put on there K10, C10, or whatever the hell you are. God. I'm not a big Chevy fan. Sorry, just not. And they put on here. They don't even spell it right. That does not say Chevrolet. That says Chevrolet. L-E-T. Let's get rid of the rest of this shit. That's let. Chevrolet. Let. There's the R O right there. So we got Chev Ro Let Chevrolet. Let's just get rid of this E and we'll put an A there and then a Y. Because this is stupid spelling. And this is why people have a problem with the English language. Because if you come here and you're trying to get in trying to mingle, hey man, nice Chevrolet. Dude, it's a Chevrolet, man. But this is, I, well, I don't care. That's like silent letters and like the, the word knife. Dude, just get rid of the K. It's not needed. If you got rid of the letter K and you put on the N-I-F-E, people are going to know what the hell you're talking about. It's a knife. They get it. It's right there, plain English. But nope, we got to put a K on there. I don't know. I didn't come up with this crazy language. I love it though. Messes with people. Because we're the only language that can say two in multiple different ways. Two, T-O, T-O-O, T-W-O. <sighs> Life. Messed up, man. Messed up. I'm trying to find something. I got crap everywhere. Well, anyway, thanks for hanging out with me and, and dealing with my crap today. I'm having kind of a funky day, if you can't tell. I gotta clean my rims. I got a leaf stuck in this one. So, thank you guys for watching. You guys are awesome. Um, I'm gonna be back on my uh, KDE 100 this weekend. I've been trying to get to it. I'm trying to get to this bike. I got wiring to do on this. We're gonna do a video on wiring, um, on how to solder wires because. Is if you guys have accessories, these are bad. Okay, these are Mickey Mouse. I did this because that's all I had at the time. Now is the time to fix it because these are ridiculous. You don't use these are bad. They, even though they heat sink, uh, heat shrink, they're still bad. Don't use those. Solder them, and I'm going to show you the proper way of doing that. Those right there, power. I can't even open this thing. I opened it one time when I first got it, and that was it. This thing right here. I gotta pop it open somehow. I gotta lubricate it first. But it's got a cigarette lighter. Oh, there it goes. It's got a cigarette lighter. You just push it in. Which is nice because you can put your GPS on it. You can charge your cell phone and then you put it in your pocket. Now, let me tell you the reason why I have this up here. Okay? I'm recording you on my phone so I can't show you my phone. But um, this little knob right here, there's a little thing that mounts on here and you can put my phone in it or my GPS. I can plug my GPS into my cigarette light, uh, my um, USB port, or a ch I can charge my phone. It goes in here on my tank, my tank bib. So if I'm away from the, you know, if I'm away and I'm up in the White Mountains or someplace, I can charge my phone through my bike. I can run my my pack that goes here for my GPS off of here if I have if I need it. But the idea of a motorcycle is to get lost, you know, not to be found, and then. Um, or the other thing I can do is I can run my um, phone off the USB, put that in here, run the other cord up to the um, front of my phone, my um, onto the input right here, and listen to my iHeart Radio or my um, XM satellite right through my bike speakers, which are these right here. And that's pretty cool. Because my exhaust on my bike is not obnoxious, obnoxious, like, you know, some of the bigger bikes. So, it has a nice rumble to it, but I can still hear myself think. 
So, but anyway, people, that's what I got for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Have any questions or comments, by all means, um, send them my way. Thanks, guys. Peace out.